Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a makeup tutorial for you guys and I really wanted to do a bright pinky fuchsia kind of look and um, kind of like a monochromatic look. So the lips are kind of the same colour as the eyes. I don't know how many times I've said the word kind of. This look is more on the dramatic side but I think it's really really nice. Like I really love it. Like how the lip is like super vibrant and how it just matches with the, the eyes. I just love that. So um, if you guys want to know how to get this look then just keep on watching. So I already have my eyebrows done and next we're going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand to prime our eyelids and I'm just blending this all away with my beauty blender. I'm then going to be using a bone coloured yellowish powder to set that concealer in place. I used the second lightest colour in the Morphe 35O palette. Now we're going to be using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and I'm using the shade Burnt Orange as my crease transition colour. This brush is from a Amazon brush set that I got online and all the Amazon brushes are linked in the info box. And then I'm using this deeper orange colour from the palette to use as my crease and outer third corner colour. And I'm really buffing this into the crease and bringing it up towards the eyebrow. And the more I go up, the less pressure I use. I'm now using this sh shade called Antique Bronze to put on my mobile lid area. I am using my finger to apply this and I just feel like you get a better colour payoff when you use your finger with shadows that you're going to use on your mobile lid. But we are going to end up covering this anyway so it doesn't really matter in this tutorial. Um, next I'm doing my eyeliner and I'm just doing a basic wing liner. I kind of did mess up the wing so um, I'll show you how, how I kind of mess up but I wiped it away with a makeup wipe. And I also actually forgot to use one of the colours for the outer corner of this eyeshadow look so I that's another reason why I kind of took the liner away um, but I did rub it off a bit and then I went in with this shade right here which is called Love Letter I believe and I'm just going to use a Sigma brush to kind of buff this into the crease and also outer third of the eye and it just made the eye look a bit more pink I went on and did my eyeliner off camera because I feel like I couldn't do it that day and now I'm using the Collection Glam Crystals in Funk with some glitter that I got from my Amazon glitter set which will all be linked in the info box by the way and I first put a layer of the Collection Glam Crystals and then I dipped the wand in the glitter and I applied the glitter with that and I felt like it stuck on really well because the Glam Crystals was a bit of a goldy colour and the glitter was more of a pink so I felt like it fit the look a bit more. I also went on and curled my lashes and I'm using the saturated colour volumetric lust mascara super cute in this little tiny bottle and I'm just applying um, the mascara onto my lashes I did go on to put one layer and then I used my Maybelline skinny master precise gel eyeliner on my upper waterline so I kind of tight line with this and then I went on to apply a second coat of mascara and I actually really really like the brush and it kind of, it, it did a really good job I think, this is my first time using it so I really really like it and I just love how much product comes out on the brush as well. But there you go and I also did use um, the two lightest colours in the Morphe 35O palette to highlight my brow bone. Yay, now on to skin, my favourite part ever. I'm using the Nip and Fab uh, Hyaluronic uh, Shot and I did apply to three drops and press this into my skin where, and mostly on the driest areas of my face and so far so good it's actually doing a good job it's hydrating um, but I just don't really like the smell to be honest but I don't really mind that I'm also using the Origins Ultra Rich Rejuvenating Face Cream which is the day one and I just applied that as well. To colour correct I'm using the Makeup Forever Cream Camouflage Palette in number four and I used a bright orange shade to colour correct I did apply it with my fingers and blended it out as well around my mouth area which is where I get most pigmentation. And for foundation I'm using the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in Tahoe. Haven't used this in a while so I thought let me just use it today. Um, it's one of my favourite foundations, it's really good, it's got really good coverage um, and I do have a full review on this if you guys want to check that out it'll be in the info box, well I will link it in the info box I mean. And I just buff this in with a little techniques buffing brush and now we're going back with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer that we used in the beginning under the eyes this is in the shades Tan Sand 
and I like to use um, a dry sponge for this concealer because I feel like it doesn't blend as well with a damp sponge. I don't know why, but I just use a dry one. To set that concealer in place, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Powder in banana or yellow I don't know the shade but it's basically a banana powder Um, it will be linked in the info box I did a bit of baking with that and also pressed it around my mouth area to set that area in place and two seconds later I just brush all the powder off I actually do really really like this powder because it doesn't give my skin a white cast so it works really well and it actually doesn't make my skin look that great if you use it sparingly especially around my mouth area I'm now using the Sunkissed Bronze Baked Blush that I got from Primark. It doesn't really have a shade but that's the name of the product and I'm just using this to kind of contour and bronze my skin up. It gives a nice greyish tone bronzer look so it's very good for contouring in my opinion but it does have a bit of a shimmer however. I'm using this Smashbox uh, Blush Trio, I'll write the shade in the info box. Um, and I'm just using the middle shade to add a bit of colour to my cheeks and I actually really really love blush at the moment so it. Next we're using the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow Highlighter and looks look how beautiful that is. Like I've never actually used this in a tutorial and I don't know why but it's so so pretty. I just love this highlighter so much. This is definitely a high end highlighter that I would recommend to anyone with a darker complexion because it doesn't really go ashy or anything like that. It's just a nice gold highlight. And next we're using the PS Lip Liner Pencil that's from Primark in the shade Wine not the softest lip liner out there I, mean, I have to be honest it's quite rough but it, it gets the job done it's quite pigmented so it actually really lines my lips really well and I felt like this color suited the lipstick color really well so as you can see it does a job but it doesn't feel quite soft but I'm actually not too fussed about that because it was only one pound so for a one pound product there's bound to be a little flaw in it and I feel like the textures that flaw <laughs> Next up, I'm going to be using the Saturated Colour Moisturising Lipstick in Frisky Fuchsia and it's a bright fuchsia colour, more on the fluorescent side I would say actually but I felt like the lip liner balanced it out a bit and I really really like the fact that it's a moisturising lipstick with so much pigmentation so yeah I just feel like this colour really suited the eyes and it just creates a nice monochromatic makeup look. Oh and I also do go in with the lip liner afterwards and kind of deepen the outer corners to make it kind of like an ombre lip. I also did apply some of the bright pink shade that we use, the love letter shade on my lower lash line and I just applied some of the same mascara on my lower lashes as well and yeah. So that's the full tutorial on how to do this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button. I love you guys so so much and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye!